Hi, and welcome to another video here from the windowcleaningstore.com. Today, a little bit of a special video, something 100% completely different from what I usually do. We're not talking about tools. We're not talking about cleaning methods. We're talking about you, the window cleaner, and the winter tune-up that I've prescribed for you. You see, if you're like me, when I was a window cleaner, I was a residential window cleaner in Canada. Now, if you working in Canada or the northern U.S., you're probably noticing that with the winter coming on that you're doing fewer and fewer window cleaning jobs. For great many of you, you'll actually be shutting down your businesses for about three to four months. And you know what are you going to be doing during those three to four months? Well, many of you are going to have a much needed rest because you probably work like five, six days a week for eight, you know, eight months straight and just working hard, long days. So you deserve that rest. Maybe a little vacation with the family. Maybe you come back and you start doing your little pre-planning for next spring. All good stuff, right? But how many of you are kind of just going to do nothing? You know, maybe just binge watching your favorite TV shows or movies or whatever, just hanging out with friends and family. All good stuff. But at the same time, your body, which was used to moving around a lot, used to carrying things, going up ladders, being quite physical for eight months, it's not good to actually go from that to pretty much nothing. Because when you go back in the next spring, it's going to take you a little while to get conditioned again, especially the older you get. When, you know, you're, it's okay when you're in your 20s and your early 30s and that, but you start to get in your 40s and 50s, getting conditioned again, going back into the season, gets harder and harder each year. So I've put together a full body workout, sort of a winter tune-up for window cleaners, something that you can do good two to three times a week, something simple, just using a couple different sets of dumbbells. It's gonna be working every muscle group that we're using when we're doing our regular window cleaning, Everything from the legs, back, arms, shoulders, etc. Things that you don't even think about when you're working, but you're using those muscles all the time. So grab your gym stuff. We're going to head on over to my gym. I'm going to show you this full body workout. Very easy to follow. Just seven different exercises. You'll want to do two to three sets of each one of those exercises. You know, start with a lighter weight and build yourself up over the winter time. But I think it'll really help you guys. And you'll be just like ready, like next spring, you'll just be ready to just hit the ground running. So this workout is going to help you stay conditioned throughout the winter and it's simple enough that you could probably do this year round without it being too taxing to the body because the, all the exercises that we're going to be doing, we want to be doing medium to high reps. So this isn't about a, you know, being a bodybuilding workout. You're not just trying to destroy your muscles and you know, get all huge and ripped. This is about conditioning. So you're, we're not going to be using very, very heavy weights. It's going to be like a lighter set of dumbbells and a slightly heavier set of dumbbells and we're going to work everything from the ground up which means we're going to start by working with the calf muscles calf muscles that get worked a lot as you walk around properties go up and down ladders and of course your quads the muscles in the front of the legs the hamstrings and the glutes in the back speaking about back your lower back mid back you know muscles that you use you know if you're picking up equipment carrying uh, you know, pure water systems in and out of vehicles and stuff you use your back a lot, you probably don't even think about it. And of course, the biceps for picking up stuff, triceps and shoulders when you're using pole work and you've got your arms you know, pushing on the, uh, the scrubber or whatever on the end of a pole. You're using all these muscle groups and you're probably not even thinking about it. So like I said, we're going to start from the ground up and let's take a look at the equipment we're going to need for today. Okay, the equipment needed for this workout is, like I said earlier, just a couple of sets of dumbbells. Something light to midweight is going to be used for the smaller muscle groups, such as your biceps, triceps, and shoulders. A heavier type of dumbbells for the legs and lower and mid-back work. You can also use a very light set of dumbbells. I like to use these um, for my work, my sore mate my uh, warm-up sets. So before I do the actual hard work, I'll do a couple of sets just using light weights to get the muscles warmed up. So if you have uh, some of these around, these are like five pounders. Anything from about two to five pounders would work great. So in this routine, we're gonna alternate between a push exercise, a pull exercise, push, pull, back and forth. So the first push exercise is gonna be working the calves. Okay, so for our calf muscles, we're gonna do an exercise called the calf raise. 
It's ideal that if you have a bench or a chair, as well as a lower platform or a stool, because what you're going to do is you're going to bring your feet up. You don't want the stool to be too high because you want to be able to have the heels and touch the ground. What we're going to do is we're going to sit a couple of dumbbells on our knees here. We're going to contract up and then lower it down, allowing our heels to touch the ground. That way we get a nice full contraction and a full stretch at the bottom. Because we're on our feet all day and our calf muscles get worked a lot, it's really good to be able to do high reps of these. You can take it. So on my dumbbells, I have flat edges. You can see the flat edge. If your dumbbells don't have that, if they've got like the spindles, you can always turn the dumbbells this way too. So we're going to bring this up onto the platform. Bring the dumbbells right to the end of the knee. I'm going to contract up, lower down, touch your heels to the floor. Contract up, down, up, down. And like I said, the calf muscles can take a beating. They're used to it. So anything in the 20 to 30 rep range. And for this particular exercise, I'm using my 30 pound dumbbells. If you're just starting out, you might want to go lower. You might want to use the lighter set of dumbbells. Okay. There we go. Now, I just want to show you, if by chance you don't have a setup like this, you can always do a standing calf raise. Just keep in mind that if you're just doing it on a flat surface, you're not going to get that full stretch. But you'll get the contraction at least. So it'll be something like this. So now that we've done our first push exercise for legs, we're going to do a pull exercise. And the pull exercise is going to be working the hamstrings, the back of the legs, as well as the glutes and the lower back. So the exercise we're going to do now is called the Romanian deadlift or the bent leg deadlift. And the idea of this particular exercise is you're going to be holding weights, and you're going to be bending over, but not just bringing your top torso over. You're going to actually be allowing your legs to bend a little bit, sticking your glute out, getting a nice stretch here in the hamstrings. You want your hands when they're holding the weights to be about halfway between your knees and the top of your feet. So they're going to come down to here, with your head looking forward and then up. And every time you come up, you're going to be driving with your, your heels on the floor. So not, you're not trying to bring your body up like this. You're just driving yourself up. So let's do this with some weight. Again, I'm using the heavier weights. You might want to start with the lower ones. So feet about shoulder width apart. Allow ourselves to go down. Allow that leg to bend a little bit. Get halfway down between the knee and the foot, and then drive up. This is a great exercise to strengthen the posterior chain. That's all the muscles in the back of your body. Very important to keep these muscles strong as you use them every time you pull or pick up things from the ground. Everything's even just picking up your window cleaning bucket full of water. So you're going to want to do about 15 reps of this particular exercise. And you'll want to do two to three sets. Of course, you'll always want to do a few, at least a couple of sets of very lightweight to get yourself warmed up. There you have it. The Romanian deadlift. Okay, so now we're going to go back to a push exercise for the legs, and it's going to be the goblet squat. The idea of the goblet squat, you know, probably normally think of a squat with a bar 
behind your neck, and then you're squatting down. With the goblet squat, you're going to pick up a dumbbell. You're going to hold it in front of you like this. Allow yourself to go down until your elbows just touch your knees, and then drive yourself up. Okay, so we go down, slight pause. Just like the uh, Romanian deadlifts that we did before, when you go up, you want to drive through your heels. And I'm using the 30 pounder here. This is an exercise you can progress quickly at. So even if you start with a light weight, don't be surprised if you're increasing the weight rather quickly because legs are a large muscle group. They adapt to training quickly. So you want to do about 15 reps of this and two to three sets. There you have it. So now we're going to work on the first pull exercise for the upper body. It's mainly going to be working the lower and mid back. So it's going to be uh, bent over dumbbell rows. Now you've probably seen people in the gym doing the one arm variety where they have one leg up on the bench and with the other arm they're pulling the dumbbell up. We're going to do the standing uh, two arms at a time. It's more efficient and uh, it just works everything nice and even. So this is how the exercise is performed. So kind of like the Romanian deadlift, you want to bend over, but not just your upper body bending over. It's more of a, let your legs bend, the glute sticks out, you're going to get down to about here, and you're going to be holding the dumbbells and bringing it back. Now, even though you're pulling, it's not a bicep exercise. You want to be pulling with your back. So you're almost wanting to be like, you can just do a visualization of just contracting your back muscles and bringing those shoulder blades together. See how my hands aren't even gripping anything? You should be able to feel it already in your back. Now all we need to do is add some weight. So we're gonna be using the 30 pounders here. You might wanna do the lower weights. So I'm gonna pick it up, same way as I would with a deadlift. Drive up with my heels, get myself into position, Glute sticking out, face looking forward, slow contraction. I'm not pulling with my arms, I'm pulling with my back muscles. Another exercise that's good to do about 15 reps if you can. and two to three sets per exercise session. And that's it. Now on to the triceps. Okay, so the tricep muscles are responsible for extending the arm. So anytime you straighten out your arm like this, if you're doing any kind of pushing, or above the head pushing, triceps in combination of with your uh, shoulders, Quite responsible for all these kind of pushing and raising motions and in window cleaning this is what helps you when you're doing pole work especially water fed it's a combination of using your shoulders and your tricep muscles to raise and push up with the pole so we're going to show you an exercise here now if you have a bench like what I have here this exercise is is really great for the triceps because not only will you get uh, a good contraction but you're also going to get a good stretch on the back of the triceps where it joins in with the back muscles if you don't have a bench I'm going to show you an alternative after so let's do the, the behind the head tricep extension now using a lighter set of dumbbells so you just want to lie back get your head right down to the end of the bench I even sometimes go a little bit further Bring your arms up and then you slowly lower it behind. You want to get behind until you feel a nice stretch in your triceps. Now all you want to do is just straighten your arms up. 
like this. Now you may have noticed I don't bring it up to here. I'm like here, this is where I want the arms to be straight. If you have your arms over here, there's absolutely no tension on the triceps. So only once you go over here, you start fighting with gravity. So that's where we want to bring it up to. Now some people, they feel it bad in the elbows when they do this exercise. If it bothers you, lighten the weight, or you can do the alternate exercise, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So again, you want to try it for about 15 reps of these and two to three sets per exercise. Okay, so here's an alternative to the tricep extension. You're not going to get the stretch like you would with the behind the head tricep extension, but you can at least work the contraction portion. So on the, while you're on the ground, take your dumbbells in your hands, fly back, while your elbows start to start in an L shape, and then straighten up. Just like that there. So this is good if you don't have a bench, so you can't get the arms way behind. Now you can do a behind the head, kind of a behind the head tricep extension. It would be something more like this. You just have to make sure you don't hit the ground too hard or else you'll damage your flooring. But we get a little bit, just a little bit of stretch here. So this is a perfect alternative if you don't have a bench like I have. And if you do like, let's say 15 uh, reps of that and you, you still have a little bit of it in the tank, you can finish off with like five, maybe five reps like this. And then call that a set. <laughs> Again, two to uh, three sets of these per exercise session. Okay, so now on to another pull exercise for the upper body and that's working the biceps. Now the biceps have two functions. They have the function of raising your lower part of your arm up, such as here. So the biceps along with the front of the shoulder muscles are responsible for that. But the other uh, function of the bicep is supination. That is your hands and forearms twisting this way. That's all done in the bicep. You can, you can see how the bicep raises and lowers when I do that. So the perfect exercise for most beginners is the, alt, um, the supinated curl. Now you've probably seen people do uh, one arm curls. We're gonna do two arms at the same time, kind of like with the, uh, the rows, the bent over rows, doing both arms at the same time is more efficient. So again, with the lighter set of dumbbells, we're gonna start off by holding them in a neutral grip. Neutral grip is when your hands flat against the side there. That's a neutral grip. This is what's known as a pronated grip and a supinated grip. So we're gonna start off with a neutral grip. Also, some people use this grip for hammer curls. We'll show you that in a minute. And then what we're gonna do is standing forward, feet nice and planted in the ground. We're gonna bring both arms up and supinate the dumbbells at the same time. Supinate, supinate. This is a good, exercise where you can make a great mind muscle connection when you get up to the top just for a second give the bicep muscles a squeeze and lower Okay, so now for the last exercise of the complete workout, and that is the shoulders. So the shoulders, we're gonna be mostly working the front and uh, side delts. You would have worked the rear delts when you were doing the dumbbell rows. As you bring the arm up and the contract the back muscles, you would have worked these. So we're only gonna be focusing on the front and side, which are the muscles that you use probably the most when you're a window cleaner, even doing any, uh, 
work where your arm is raised above your head, squeegeeing, working with the poles, lifting up uh, old sash windows and stuff like that. A lot of shoulder work gets done there. So we're going to be doing the dumber, dumbbell shoulder press. So like I said, we're going to be working the front and the sides. Slightly lighter set of dumbbells, not the heavy ones. Going to just bring them up into position, just below ear level. Now the more forward the dumbbells are, the more you're going to be working the front delts. The more to the sides, the more you're going to be working, uh, incorporating the side delt muscles. So here we go. So you want to aim for about 15 to 20 reps. Now, if by chance you want to push yourself a little bit, especially on the last set, because we're going to do two to three sets of this per workout, if you want to push yourself and you're just starting to get fatigued, what you can do is you can use your legs to help in the push portion. This is what's known as a push press. So you just slowly lower it down. You can usually bang out another five reps or so. And there we go. Because the delt muscles are similar to the biceps and the uh, calf muscles, they do get used a lot without even without you even thinking about it. You use them all the time throughout the day. They can take a lot of abuse. Anyway, that's our complete workout. I hope this is something that you can implement this winter to help you uh, keep conditioned during the slower months. And it's not too taxing a workout. You could probably do this year round, at least you know a couple times a week. Anyway. Thanks uh, for watching and hope you like my gym, my workout routine. I'll have the full workout in the description in the video on YouTube. Check it out. Bye for now.